<laughs> Ted, I can't believe it's another year. Another, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> of the Christmas lights extravaganza, but what are you here to do this for, Ted? Remind everybody. Uh, do it for the tomorrow fun. I do it for the, the, the kids and the adults too. They all they all love it. Uh, the kids are very excited. I've already had a lot of people come through already. Um, just it's awesome. And it's amazing that tonight is opening night, which we didn't even know. Yeah. And you said you already had people come through last yeah, night? Yeah, I've had a lot of people come through already last night. Yeah, they're all excited. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, did you ever think of doing hot chocolate? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we've done it in the past, but it's just been so busy we haven't done it in a while. Yeah. 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 Understandable. Well, let's see why Ted has been so busy. <laughs> and, you know, I thought it would be kind of cool to show everybody a different perspective. Oh, you being know? in the daylight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. just take us around okay. during the daytime. All right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of new stuff out this year. Yeah, the stitch is new, the dog is new, uh, the gnome is, is brand new. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, the elf on the shelf on the train is, is brand new. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, yeah, he uh, got him this year. Now, how long has the train been in existence? Uh, tr we built the train in 2016, so it's been, it's been here since then, yeah. It is, now, have you had to do any repairs to it at all? Yeah, I had to uh, reskin it because of the, the weather. Yeah. And then what I did is I used uh, ice and water covering to seal the wood. And so far, it's been holding up pretty good. Nice. So nice. hopefully. Now, I'm thinking we're going to have a little bit of a different winter compared to mm -hmm. the past few, which mm -hmm. has been kind of like Floridian winters, really. Yeah, let's let's be honest, you know. Nice. <laughs> but this winter may be a little different, so we may have some more snow. Now, do people still, you know, tromp through here yeah. when it's snowing and yeah. icy? And if it's really bad, like during a snowstorm, I won't put them on because the Coventry Police asks not to because, oh. of the, because of the traffic and safety. Uh, but once the roads are clear, I'm, I'm open. Uh, I end up snow blowing the whole path so it's safe to walk through. And the snow makes it look prettier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. so it's, it's pretty neat. Very yeah. nice, mm -hmm. very nice. Now, mm -hmm. are you here every single night? Pretty much every single night, yep, unless I'm working late. I'm out here every night w working a train and greeting everybody and saying hello and talking. Yep. Now, do you recognize people that are coming back year yeah, after I, year? Yeah, I recognize some people, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's also a lot of new people every year. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple, uh, three or four different new people uh, last night. They were driving by and drove up and they were like, oh my God, this is beautiful. And they walked through and they loved it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's so fun. And again, different perspective, mm -hmm. you know, today during the day to see how much work that yeah. you do oh, and yeah. go through. So let's yep. walk through right, this. Yeah. This is my favorite part. Oh, train car. <laughs> <laughs> is walking through here. Yep. It's so pretty at night. Yeah, it is. It is awesome. Now, has this been here for a long time as uh, well? Same year we built the engine, we built this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that lion. Oh, that lion's new. <laughs> is it? Oh, okay, because I'm like, he doesn't look yep. familiar. But yeah, and as you can see, the wind has... I gotta fix some stuff from the wind. Are you out here fixing things oh, pretty much all, on it? All the time, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, he's he's brand new. Um, oh, he's so cute. So where did you get him? Actually, I I, I bought this off a gentleman in uh, Massachusetts. He he sold a whole bunch of the felt stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the Yukon and the dog is is brand new. Very nice. Um, the uh, girl elf is new. Oh, she's Red cute. This is new. Oh, he <laughs> yeah. swims. Yeah. Oh, how yeah, from funny. The toys instead of <laughs> flying, he swims. <laughs> That's a riot. Yeah, yeah. And then the seal is brand new this year. Oh, cute. Yeah. Wow. This just looks so different during the day, yeah. but I, lo I love it. <laughs> I love it because it really does show yeah. the effort and the time How that you have. Involved. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Yep. So when did you start this year? Second week of August. I started wrapping trees the second week of August. I've been working on it every day till now. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually still, I, these are brand new to Lantons. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in the process of uh, hanging them right now, and I got two more to hang over there. Yep. And how about the lights? Have you put more lights on the trees? Uh, yeah, I've added, I've actually added a few more extra trees. Okay. Um, and then next year, I'm going to actually bring the path around. Oh, so cool. So I'm going to actually add some more. Um, and, and wrap some more trees so the path is gonna be a little bit longer next year. Well, the last time we did a video, you said that you were going to continually mm -hmm. expand this, yep. and I, I think you're almost using up I'm every almost, inch of I'm your yard. Not a room. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think you can find more yeah, knowing oh you, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
All right, so what else is new in this sec? Oh, is that tree new? Uh, nope, that was uh, last year. Actually, um, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and, and the um, <laughs> fish is new along with another elf on the shelf. Look at that elf, how oh, cute! Yeah, that's a new one. Uh, the bubble light is new. The bubble light, oh. Yeah, and then the alligator is new. My friend and I were just talking about bubble lights yesterday, mm -hmm. actually, and they yeah. were, they're so retro oh, and, so cool. oh. <laughs> I got we have them on our tree when we put our tree up. Now, did you have those when you were a kid on yeah. your tree? Oh yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my grandparents had them on their tree. Absolutely, my grandparents did too. They're just yep. so nostalgic. Yeah, yeah, they're so awesome. And then uh, the little Max and Cindy Lou is, Cindy Lou is new. Cute. Uh, the pelican is new. Yeah, yeah, just be careful of the uh, stumps. It's all good. <laughs> the roots. Probably helped me if I fell. <laughs> Fix my brain cells. Oh, <laughs> the igloo. Cool. That's, that's new this year. Very cool. Yep. Oh, my uh, flamingo's down. <laughs> oh, down flamingo. <laughs> I just love this pathway, though. Oh, yeah. the Mickey Mouse in the car. Mickey Mouse car is brand new. Yeah, yeah, the path. Yeah, it's cool the way it just like snakes through the woods. It is so neat. And now, isn't there a cemetery behind here? Yeah, right behind that stone wall. Oh, we can see it during the day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's more over there when you walk through the other part of the path. More cemetery? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There Look it. Is. it. There's the old cemetery. Very cool. That's one of them. All right. Can you can you remind everybody about the story you told me the last time? As far as there was a ghost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got you got to. Yeah, tell Charlene was uh, sitting on the on the couch and she was on the computer and watching TV and all of a sudden she felt a tug on her sweatshirt and she looked down and it was like a silhouette of a five year old child. Oh. Kind of looked at her, walked around, looked at. I have a built in fish tank in the wall. He looked at that and kind of disappeared. And over there, his name is James Rathburn. He died when he was five. Oh wow. So. Could be him, who knows, but yeah, yeah. but she actually felt her, the tug on her sweatshirt twice. To, uh, yeah, she, uh. <laughs> he was friendly, so it didn't, it didn't really scare her, but Good. yeah, oh yeah. So what year do you think these stones go back to? Uh, that one over there in the corner, her name is Susanna. I believe um, she was born in 1790 something. Wow. And she, no, I'm sorry, 1690-something. She died in 1736. Her name is Susanna. I was told she's the, it's the oldest etched stone in uh, Coventry. That is amazing. Yeah. Now, when you first bought this house, though, did the cemetery creep you out? No, nope, didn't, didn't bother me at all. <laughs> I knew they were here, and, yep, no, nope, didn't bother me. Do you invite them to dinner? Yeah. <laughs> So far, they've been friendly. They've been really friendly, so. <laughs> and, and you know, that is a key, I think, yeah. to living, you yeah. know, next to a budding cemetery yeah. is that as long as they're friendly, it's not bad. Yeah. And then when we, when we go over and you see the other cemeteries, I actually keep them leaf blown and I weed whack and I keep them all nice and clean. Nice. Yeah. Nice, because isn't the town supposed to do that? The only one they keep up is the one in the, this big stone, stone enclosure. They don't... They had never bothered with that one, so I've been keeping it nice and clean and stuff. I felt bad it was so overgrown. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do it, and now I just keep it up. And that's why they like you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they like the lights, too, at night. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, the dog, he's so cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had him for a few years. Again, you know, just, just seeing everything during the day, everything really does look totally, totally different, different yeah. you know, and then at yeah. night, it's just a magical yeah. wonderland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the manger, I see the manger. Yep, that was actually donated by a gentleman that lives on Town Farm Road. Oh, he nice. come, He came to display all the time, and he, he wanted to donate it, so he donated it uh, last year or the year before. Very yeah, nice. So put it out, and, yep, it looks pretty neat. And you've had a bunch of people donate to you, right? Yeah, I've had people donate uh, actual string lights, uh, uh, Christmas trees and uh, figures and yeah, it's awesome when they donate it. We, we, we appreciate it and we put it to good use. Well, because everybody enjoys what you do. Oh, that's cool. And it's <laughs> it's just really nice to be able to have a place to come to yeah. in town and, and you really can spend a good amount of time here yeah. walking through the display. Yeah, you have to go around two or three times because you, you miss stuff. It's yeah. funny, I hear people all the time, oh, I didn't see that the first time I walked through, so yeah. you definitely got to go around at least twice to see, you know, see it. And we got Mickey and Minnie again, yep, yep, and we've more. Had them for a while. And penguins and yep. flamingos, <laughs> and a, a dancing penguin. I mean, you oh, gotta yeah. love him. Yeah, yep. <laughs> and some cookies with a mouse. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> and there's there's one of the new ornaments. 
on a hang Oh, trailer. cool. Now, where did that come from? Uh, that came from another gentleman in Massachusetts. He was selling all his uh, lanterns and um, ornaments. And this is the other, uh, one of the other cemeteries. So what's the oldest stone here? I believe these were all 1800s in, in here. Now, it, as I'm looking at these, there are mounds there. That's yeah. That's to where they used to be buried. They they'd mound the ground up. Come yeah. on. And actually, that that stone right there is Benjamin Madison. I had two ladies come and knock on my door, and that they were direct descendants of him, and they were very happy that the grave was nice and clean. That is wild. They were direct descendants. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I told him, I said, you can come anytime you want and visit. Drive up my driveway, come visit the grave, no problem. But I, I guess he's a soldier because there's a flag flag next to him. So he was a soldier. Back back when he was alive. Wow. But there's five there's five plots right here. Now what do you know about those those tiny stones that uh, are? I believe those are the foot markers. Oh, okay. Back then they had a headstone and they had a foot marker. Because you can see in the other cemetery there's a headstone and footstone very close. You can tell those are children. Wow. You know, the closer they are, the, that's how they were young when they passed away. Like like James, you'll see his is a little farther apart compared to like the little kids. But yeah, back then they always used a footstone and a headstone. All right, so we have another manger over here. Yep. Um, my son Matt built the, ma the manger part of it, um, like oof, how about ten years ago. So it's still hold still holding up. <laughs> Looks really good for being built ten years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's holding up really good. And if we go this way, now we have a Star Wars theme. Yeah, yep, Star Wars theme. Oh, the uh, octopus is brand new this oh, year. Oh, cool. The poodles was from the, the guy in Massachusetts and the oh, bear also. Oh, oh, the poodles and the bear. That's really neat. Yeah. yeah oh, the bear. Poodles. He's so cute. Look at how, yeah. like, he, he looks like a Labradoodle. Yeah. But he's a bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a whole bunch of felts that he sold. Um, Stormtroopers new this year. Oh, another set of bubble lights. Right there, they're, they're brand new. Bubble lights right there are new. Very cool. And we have this other cemetery. Now that stone looks really, did someone redo the stone for Lucy? Uh, no, I think that was the original stone. That's her, that's her parents, uh, Reuben and Sarah. And they had, and James is right over there. When you go around the corner, you can see how close the footstones are. Oh, okay. I believe that's another child of theirs. See how close the footstones? Yeah. And all their kids, she's the only one that lived till uh, she was, I think, yeah, 70, she was 72 years old. Wow. So they lost a lot of their kids when they were really young, but she lived till she was 72. And those are some other uh, family is not the same. It's not the same uh, name, but this is the Rathburns right here And then over there is the Knights and some other families over there It's just crazy because this stone right here. Yeah, I know it, it doesn't it, it looks brand new. Yeah. Yeah, and she died in 1902 I believe yeah. Yeah died yeah. in 1902 that's crazy, yeah, yeah. and you you really are doing a wonderful job oh, keeping you. these up thank nice, you. really, really nice. Thank you. Yeah, because over there you couldn't even tell it was a cemetery. It was so f overgrown with, with trees and brush, and I actually had to go in there with a chainsaw and clear it all out. Then I did the leaf blowing, the weed whacking, so now I, I'm able to keep it down right down to the dirt. So. so when you first moved in here, you said, you know what, I got to clean these out. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and did yeah. you discover more stones than you even thought were there? Actually, there was two stones over there that were flat and buried. And oh. one day I was leaf blown and I actually uncovered them because I was wondering, I was wondering who, was, who was buried there. And I actually was able to fix, I fixed four stones in there and one stone in the big cemetery. I actually had to dig like a little trench and prop them up. But yeah, so, yep, I try to keep them nice and clean. You're doing a great job, oh, Ted. Thank, thank you are you. doing a great thank job. You. And what else? Now, these candy canes, they look so brand new. If they're no, not, they're they not, look No, new. They're, they're a couple years old. All oh, the dogs are new from that guy. Oh, doggies. Yep. But yeah, the candy canes are a few years old. They're holding up really good. <laughs> they they look brand new. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and you have a lot of blow molds. We talked about those yeah, before. Yep. So many people are so into the vintage blow molds. Yeah. Yeah. They're so hard to find now and then. But they are they are so cool compared to the new ones. Oh, yep. that dog's new. Oh, hi, doggy. Yep. Doggy with the whiskey barrel. <laughs> yep, he's he's brand new. The kangaroos new. Oh, nice. Uh, the white lanterns are new this year. Very nice. They look pretty cool. Yeah, oh. they do. Yep, I gotta fix my train. <laughs> <laughs> train blown over. Little wind train going yep. on. Yep. So I just go around and fix everything daily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is daily. Hell yeah. Oh, there's the ornaments and some of the lanterns I gotta hang. 
So it's still kind of, it, I feel like this is always a work in progress for you though. Yeah, I'm always tinkering and adding and fixing and <laughs> yeah. doing, oh, the gnome is new. Oh, new gnome. Yep. And then the two penguins on top of each other, they're brand new. Now, felts going through a season outside, how does that work? Like, do they hold up pretty good? Or? Uh, yeah, they, they hold up for the most part. Every now and then you might have one that will like rip a little bit, so you're just going to have to fix them. Yeah. Um, the dog is new. The dogs in the presence are new. Uh, Eeyore is new. Got him this year. Very cute. Yeah, Got Gotta have your Disney characters. Yeah, he looks really cute lit up. Now, how about parking? Whatever happens if it gets super crowded? Um, I, I think last year you invited people yeah, to... Yeah, I've, I've been telling everybody to just drive up and park over near my garage. There's plenty, there's plenty of room to park. Um, people still park on the road as long as they park on the opposite side of my property. Yeah. The police are okay with it, so it's, it's, it's not parking on both sides and blocking the road. Yep. So it has helped with, with more people parking up here. Oh, good. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. When it gets a little busy, it does get a little congested, but it, it, it usually works itself out. And and especially people who like maybe some older people yeah. or handicapped people yep. you totally welcome of yeah, course oh, definitely just drive up there's, there's plenty of room to park up and it's safer that's even fantastic kids, even people with little kids oh yeah that's great yep so this is just suitable for absolutely everybody to come through this amazing and fun display. I just think it's so fun and it really oh, makes you, you it, it, you. it just makes you feel like you're a kid again. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said before, it's funny the adults love it just as much as the kids. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we want. We want everyone to, you know, be happy and like it. And, and it's free. It, it is totally yep. free. But do you see yourself doing this for the next, you know, 50 years? I'm going to do it as long as I'm physically capable. <laughs> Which is awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you do like to let people know that you are taking contributions for the Tomorrow Fund, which you've been doing for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that was my son Joe started doing that, and we just kept it going. So, yeah, all the donations go to the Tomorrow Fund. Last year, we raised over $8,000. That is yeah. amazing. Yep. Yeah, they're, they're happy. Every January, I uh, take all the money, go down, go down to the bank, get a bank check made out to the Tomorrow Fund. We take a picture of it, put it on our uh Facebook web page so everybody knows exactly what was raised and I just go down to the tomorrow phone and give them the check. Pretty awesome and, and definitely very, you know, amazing for you to be doing that and for everybody to help out in raising money for the tomorrow fund yeah it's a very good cause and what is your facebook page uh conway lights conway christmas lights extravaganza everybody's got to go and visit that page because that's where you can see all of the updates and mm -hmm. and you just like to keep people in touch and let them know yes you can come park yes you we're open these yep. are the hours we're open and tonight being opening night mm -hmm. what are the hours uh sunday through thursday 4 30 till 9 9 p.m friday saturday 4 30 to 10 p.m yep we're open every night starting tonight weather permitting uh the last night is new year's day night new year's day night and it's going to be 2025 ted yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and also i just want to do a, a shout out to my grandson carter who, who comes out here and helps me and then blake he lives around the corner he comes over and helps me he's 15 oh. and he does an awesome display of his own so whoever comes here it's right around the corner uh 233 Chaplin Lane in Coventry. His it is. It's right, right there. Right around the corner. Yep. <laughs> like anybody can see where I'm pointing, but yeah. it is literally yeah. right around yep. the corner. His display is awesome. He, his, his display dances to the music. Oh, you cool. can tune your car into it and watch the watch the uh, lights dance to the music. So he does an awesome display himself. Yep. So everybody can go visit Blake too, yeah. and you gotta yep. come here. And we're actually going to fast forward to tonight, mm -hmm. and we're gonna show everybody the cool lights, all lit up. But I just wanted everybody to see you know what an amazing job oh, that you, you do and how much work and effort and mm -hmm. time oh yeah that it takes, it takes a long time to set all yep. of this up so different perspective hopefully everybody likes it yeah i hope so and hopefully this entices you to come here and see all of this lit up at night and now we're going to fast forward to darkness <laughs> Jingle bell. 
bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for seven tonight We climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Oh, a Merry Christmas Day Oh, oh, oh. we're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down The mistletoe While Santa's busy Saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly Eating Christmas cake And then we go skating On the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up By the fireplace Carolers are singing Outside our door Lovely songs We all heard before As they walk What is the address of this amazing Christmas extravaganza? The address is 265 Maple Valley Road, Coventry, Rhode Island. 